Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for March 10th. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair. This pair closed up during today's session, uh, broke through previous support, uh, but pulled down to close a little bit below. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 83.54, possibly as low as 82.35. Look for some resistance around 83.15 and look for some support around 82.50. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair surged to the downside during today's session, closed down. We are looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 139.98, possibly moving down to 1.3660. Look for some resistance around 138.62 and look for some support around 137.25. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair closed down, closed lower. We are looking for this pair to potentially Go as high as 162.86, possibly as low as 159.06. Look for some resistance around 161.25 and look for some support around 160.25. Now the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair closed, closed up but did create an inside bar. We are looking for it to potentially uh, move out of that. Look for it to potentially go as high as 0.9416. Possibly as low as 0, 92, 20, uh, 92, 24. Look for some resistance around 0, 93, 65. And look for some support around 0, 92, 33. Okay, now we're, let's take a look at what we're looking for over this next session. The U.S. Swiss has created an inside bar. We are going to put a horizontal line on the high and the low of the previous session and look for a potential break to the upside. To the upside we're looking for it to come up to this point. Next area of potential uh, what will be resistance. We do have another area that's a little bit closer. If it moves to the downside we can see it come down to, to the 0 0.9233 level. So to the downside, looking for a break of about 32 pips. To the upside, we're looking for a break, uh, the first of which about 22 pips. You need to be uh, weary of a reversal. If it pushes through, it could go another 61 pips uh, total, so another about 40 pips or so. So this is what we're looking for during this next session. This pair's been moving kind of sideways uh, after hitting a bottom here, uh, a very low point for this particular pair, uh, historical low actually, and has pulled back a little bit, but overall been moving sideways. So uh, the potential of it breaking to the upside or breaking down to the downside, I think are equally as good at this point. Uh, it, but a strong move is definitely uh, in favor of this pair in either direction. That really doesn't matter. We should have a strong move due to the fact that we are at such a low low and it's been holding. So it's either going to reverse to the upside and move higher or it's going to be moving lower. And when it does, one of those two things is most likely going to do that to a very strong degree. So either one of these trades would be a good trade to look for. I hope that helps. And until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.